So do not consider yourself pure from any wrongdoing. They are the one who knows best about anyone who is more pious. What I just said was from Surah Al Najmi, verse 32, talking about sincerity and modesty. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ahmad Nuddin from 4A, and today I'll be giving a taskiro about sincerity and modesty. First off, let's talk about their meanings. What do they even mean? Well, sincerity means the absence of pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. To be more clear, it means we are doing something with a clear true purpose without anything behind it. In this context, it means we are doing a good deed only for Allah. Meanwhile, modesty means the quality or state of being unassuming in estimation of one's ability. In a simpler term, it can be described as doing something good without the intention of getting attention. This begs the question, how do we get used to this? I'll answer those in this taskiro. I'll be giving I'll be giving three ways to get used to being sincere and modest in our in our day-to-day -day life. The first one being is to always present a good intention in every of our deeds that that the things are trivial, as done by Tabi'in Abdul Rahman bin Yazid. He was always having good intentions when doing something so much that he ate that he enjoyed with intentions for Allah. The second one is to familiarize ourselves with performing worship alone and away from public view. We do and we do not like if our practices are known to the public. One of the best ways is to get out for night prayers when people are fast asleep. At that time, we were the only ones praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the, the prayers at that time were answered by Allah. The third and final one is to not be deceived by the general praise of ours. Always istifar if praise and explain that on, all praise is only for Allah. Always be humble with people's praise, realizing that what we do cannot repay the blessings that Allah has bestowed on us. Now that we are done with all that, let's talk about the effects at all. The first one being is that our faith to Allah is proven. We get to show that our good deeds are only for Allah and not for sure. The second is that we get protected from shaitan's disturbances. Allah will grant us protection from committing sins. Finally, our heart will be peaceful and harmonious. Our heart will be cleansed from fear from shaitan. In conclusion, we must be modest and sincere in our day-to-day -day life because because our lives, because, because one day, sooner or later, we will, we will go back to meet Allah. Thank you for listening to my taskira.